Hello, I'm Mary Ann Lowe's from Mappysoft Technologies. This video will show a demo of the tools found in OS PAL, including OS Abstractor, OS Changer, the Simulator, the Optimized Code Generator, the Full Package Code Generator, the Profiler, and ADAS C C++ Changer. First, I will show how to use OS Abstractor for new code development. To start, we will create a new project. Right-click on the C++ C++ Projects pane and choose New. You can choose to create either a C or C++ project in OS PAL. Provide the project a name. And when choosing the project type, it is recommended to use the template projects because it creates the necessary code to initiate OS Abstractor and it creates a root task to provide an application developer a starting point for development. Here, you fill out the project info. OS Abstractor provides a variety of interfaces for developing new code that will run on multiple operating systems, so the code is not tied to a particular OS. Cross OS is always included, but you can add any others that you prefer to develop with here, including POSIX, VxWorks, PSOS, Nucleus, MicroITron, and Windows. Here is the new project I created. I can now develop my application using this project. Now, I will show how to use OS Changer to port legacy code to a new OS. OS Changer saves time and money by reducing the porting effort. The code is ported to a new OS without having to rewrite, thereby protecting the existing software investment. First, we will import an application using the legacy porting tool. This tool supports porting from VxWorks, PSOS, Nucleus, POSIX, MicroITron, and Windows. In this demo, I will choose to port a VxWorks application and I will import the Workbench project. I will browse the location of my files. And choose the project to import. Now I will enter the root task prototype. And I'll keep the root task size as default. Here is the imported project. I'm going to delete main.c because it was automatically imported from my legacy application. However, in this particular project, there is no code to be ported in that file. If there had been, I would move that code into Mapisoft's main file and delete the old main.c. Now, I will show how to use the OS simulator. This tool provides a way to run and debug VxWorks, POSIX, MicroITron, Windows, PSOS, and Nucleus applications on Windows and Linux host machines without the target hardware. Once the application is in OS PAL, click on the source folder and open the application, in this case, the windemo.c file. You will need to comment out the native VxWorks header files since the application won't need them anymore. And you will need to add Mapisoft products to replace the VxWorks header files. In this case, I will use the CrossOS and VxWorks interface files. Now I'm going to rebuild my application to include Mapisoft products. Now that my application is using Mapisoft products, I'm able to run this real-time VxWorks application on a host for simulation and debugging. Mapisoft provides the best possible simulation because it does not add a scheduler, which would cause performance strain. Also, debugging on a readily available host machine, such as this Windows computer, is much easier than debugging directly in the target environment. To run under debug mode, right-click on the project you created, select Debug As, an OS PAL local C, C++ application. Once the debug perspective is open, click on the resume button. Here is my VxWorks application running on the host. Now that a new application has been written or a legacy application has been imported into OS PAL, it's ready for the new target OS. First, I will create the needed Mapisoft packages using the optimized code generation option. This tool generates optimized target OS code scaled specific to your application based on the options you set and the GUI-based wizard for better performance.
click on the OSPAL Projects Perspective button to get back to your project. Select the project that you created and click on the Optimizer button. In this example, I will choose Linux 2.6 as the target OS. However, there are many other supported operating systems. I'm going to choose to generate a project file to help me when running on the new target. And now I'm going to choose where to save the generated packages. This screen provides options for setting up the profiler. The profiling feature will provide me with data concerning performance. The platform API profiling allows me to enable profiling for the features I'm using. I'm going to select CrossOS and VxWorks interfaces. The Application Functions Profiling feature will provide me with data concerning the functions in my application. This data will be presented in charts and graphs to analyze and identify bottlenecks which are slowing down my application. I'm going to input certain functions that I want to track. OSPAL reads my application and shows a list of all the APIs used here. When the code is generated, MapReSoft's products will be scaled specifically for my application, rather than a one-size-fits-all abstraction. This feature allows me to move certain APIs inline to increase the performance of my application. OSPAL provides GUIs to configure MapReSoft's products for my application. The options I set are automatically included when I generate the code. MapReSoft's platform includes many advanced development features. For example, task pooling gives the ability to reuse task envelopes again and again rather than recreating them each time. The process feature enables independent development of complex and multiple applications. This provides protection from my application since it is broken down into individually protected processes. I can also set other settings such as memory, other resources, debug options, output devices, ANSI mapping, device I.O. In the case of PSOS porting, there are additional configurations. Now, MapySoft products are being generated for my application. And now they're done, I can run this VxWorks application on Linux. I'm going to show the files that were generated. Here is my project folder. Included in the source folder is my original application unchanged except for the header files which I modified earlier. In the optimized interface folder are the MapiSoft packages which include only the functions needed by the application, so there is no need for further scaling or configuration. If I wish to port this application to a different OS, I would only need to repeat the code generation steps and choose a different OS. This provides true cross-OS development. The other option for generating MapiSoft packages is to use the full package code generation tool. This tool generates full source code packages to create libraries to port and develop applications using your own IDE outside of OSPAL. First, you choose the target OS. Then you choose the OS Changer or OS Abstractor products needed. Next, you choose the place where you will save the generator package. And I'm going to show the packages that are generated. Included in the output is a sample application and full libraries containing the MapiSoft products needed to run the application on the new OS. All of the MapiSoft functions are included, whether your application uses them or not. A package can be manually scaled and configured by the user for better performance. Another way to generate a full package is with the GUI settings in the optimizer instead of having to manually modify the configuration file. To do this, Select the project and click on the Optimizer button. 
you choose the target OS as before and provide a place to save it. You can set up the profiler just as before. And on this screen, you choose to generate full API library interfaces. You can now use the GUIs to configure the user configuration file here. Now, I will show the profiler tool. This tool collects performance data concerning your application and the platform. The data is graphically viewed with charts and graphs to find bottlenecks system-wide or regarding a specific task and to compare performance metrics on various target environments. Profiler data is generated when the application is run on the new target. It can then be viewed in OSPAL. First, click on the OSPAL Profiler Perspective button. Then load the profiler data file. Here is the profiler data file created for running my application on a Linux target. The profiler provides me with data concerning utilization of Macusoft's APIs and my application for performance impact analysis. The profiler also provides me with data concerning my application to analyze and identify bottlenecks which are slowing down my application. I can also generate a project report, a timing report for the project. I'll give it a name. And I'll show you the file that was created. This report provides some important performance metrics. Now, I will show the Ada C C++ changer tool. This tool automatically converts Ada code to the C, C++ language. Here is the button to access Ada C, C++ Changer. I will browse to a sample Ada application, provide my project with a name, and input the main Ada procedure. There are various configurations for the project and various options to control the format and style of the C, C++ output, such as the one shown here. If desired, the resultant C, C++ code can be integrated with one of MapiSoft's OS Abstractor interfaces. By integrating the new C, C++ code with OS Abstractor, the application will have better performance, stability, and portability. Now my C, C++ files are being generated. Here's my Ada project. And here are some C files. Now I can build the output in C code. Now that the build is complete, I can run the outputted C code in OSPAL. Here is my newly converted C, C++ application running in the OSPAL simulator. OSPAL can be downloaded from Mapisoft's website at mapisoft.com backslash downloads. The included CAN demos provide sample code to run in the OSPAL environment. If you would like to run your own code or generate MapiSoft packages from OSPAL, click the key icon on the toolbar and choose Get License. The page display provides contact information to request a license key from MapiSoft to evaluate OSPAL. Thank you very much.